So, I may have accidentally bought another bike. I'll show you. This is a uh, 1950s Mercia. I wasn't meant to buy it, but I kind of, um, I kind of messed up and ended up winning. Um, so basically, I always look on eBay. Um, always looking for a bargain. And while looking for those bargains, this bike caught my eye. Um, mainly because of this, this lovely chain guard here. Um, aluminium, obviously steel. Um, and it looks to have... I mean, to me it looks like two pissed revolvers. Um, especially on the chain guard. But I'm not sure what you think. But anyway, this caught my eye. Um, and also, something else caught my eye. And also at the back here, we've got this Cyclo rear derailleur. Which also caught my eye. But the bike, the bike was up in Bakewell. And that's a good, I don't know, hour and a half drive from me. Didn't really have the money for it. Um, so I was actually about to let this bike slip. Um, I was going to let it slip, but something kind of happened. So it all came down to that last minute of bidding. I knew I couldn't really afford this bike. Um, I've had to make some cuts because I've made this mistake, but it's a beautiful mistake really. Um, but it came down to the last minute of bidding. The bike was at, say, around £25. I'm not sure what it exactly was at, but... I decided to bump the auction up a little bit for the guy because I thought this bike is, you know, it's going to go for 40, 50, maybe 60 pounds. It's a nice old French bike with some good parts on it. So I stuck an extra pound on and that did bump it up. Got down for about 30 seconds and stuck another pound on it. And that took me up to a winning bid of 28 pounds. That was my mistake. I was counting on other people to bid on this bike. I was watching the uh, timer tick away, thinking, it's all right, in a few moments now, someone will bid on this bike. Someone will have a last minute, last second snipe. But would you believe it? No one bid. So I ended up winning the bike. Um, no, I'm not someone who will back out of a back out of a sale um, if I accidentally win it. So contacted the seller and uh, yeah, arranged to pick it up. Now the story behind this bike is it's a 19. Well, I'm not sure. Mercia is a hard brand to research. I can't seem to find any old brochures. Um, and I can't seem to find too much dating information on them. It, it, it's probably, it's probably mostly in French. Um, it's a French bicycle manufacturer that was, oh God, now I'm testing my knowledge. I think founded like 1900s and something. Um, but it's a big brand, it's a big brand. Um, you can see this bike is really well put together. Um, so Mercia, I think it's a 1950s. Judging by the rear derailleur, that's all I can really go off at the moment. Um, it's a good bike. It's actually direct from France. Um, the seller picked it up with a few others when he was travelling back through. So, French bike, actual French heritage. It's a nice one to have in my collection. Unfortunately, someone in the past has gone to town with the paintbrush and painted all the lovely aluminium mud guards um, this horrible grey colour they've painted the brake leave the brake levers the brake calipers in the same paint and they've also painted the rims um, I can probably clean up these guards by using some paint stripper I can probably clean up the brakes that would be fine um, I have got to rebuild this front brake because the actual bolt has snapped. So I've got to find a new axle for that. But unfortunately, I think the rims 
are going to be um, a replacement jobby. I don't think they will clean up. Uh, generally when people, people paint the rims it's because they've gone rusty and it's just better off replacing them. Oh, all the spokes are painted as well. Hub, hopefully I'll be able to clean that up. It's got these nice wing nuts on. Uh, so that's the plan with the wheels. I need to rebuild them. Now this style of bike is a, uh, what do you call it, a portier? I think that's what the style is. Um, it is built to be like this, uh, all singing, all dancing, lights, mud guards, racks, everything. Um, and it comes with a French kind of specific size of 650B rims, um, which I think are in the 26 inch category. Um, but they're going to be quite hard to find, the 650B rims. Tyres, not so much, you can still get them, but rims, rims are going to be difficult to find. It only has one of the lights as well, this Subit's Catalux 5. Um, it's missing the top lens here and obviously the bulb. Um, it has a dynamo on the other side and the front light is also missing. So I've got to find the front light, find the lens at the top of here and try and get that working. Um, and yeah, I don't know how well it's going to work. Uh, I've got to work out the wiring, probably replace all that. But that's what the bike came with. Um, I think as well, the front light is it like a hearse style um, and it's going to be quite difficult and expensive maybe to find exactly the right one. I think we've got a fairly nice saddle on here. Um, it's branded White Star. I can only actually find one picture of a saddle like this if I Google it, because I'm not sure if White Star is company, White Star is just a particular style of this saddle. Um, it seems to be missing a pin there, but it's flexible, it's supple, it seems to be stable enough, so that should work. Now when it comes to the frame, um, I'm not going to do anything with it, I'm keeping it exactly how it is. All this original wear on it from, you, you presume lady, because it's a lady's bike, and the lady owning it before just stepping through constantly has just worn it away a little bit and I like that, I like that wear on it. So that's staying, um, it's got really nice lug work so you, as you've seen on this bike. Um, and this style as well actually, so it's obviously a ladies bike, um, they normally just have one top tube, one down tube, but the style of this bike with the double top tubes, slightly thinner, bridged in places, um, that's called a mixed, and, and that is uh, I guess French for mixed spelt differently but kind of sounded the same. Um, I don't know what the pedal threading is, could be French, haven't taken them off yet to have a look, but that could cause an issue. One other thing I'm missing is the gear lever. Um, it should be a cyclo gear lever, but it's brazed on. Um, I think that's a nice little feature, brazed on gear lever. Now if you look down at the gearing, it's uh, free speed. Um, I think it's like, like I say. I think it's 50s just from this uh, derailleur. Um, unfortunately, it is slightly broken. It's meant to have a pull chain here. There's part of it. There's the other part of it. So that chain has broken. Um, and I'm not sure if you can replace them. I'm gonna have to get it off. Have a look into it. Um, see if it will come out and if I can see if I can repair it um, But yeah free speed it's, it's, I think it's, um, it's an early, early geared derailleur And then up in the cockpit we've just got these Nice levers obviously the chrome is worn off I'm not too fussed about that. That will probably just stay uh, Got some nice bars probably put some cork handlebars on there cork, cork handle caught grips on there um, and we'll just clean all that up. So that's just a quick look at my 
accidental purchase. Um, Twenty-eight pounds. I'm I'm actually quite happy with it. It's a nice bike. It will look great when it's finished. It's just going to take a bit of work. Uh, trying to clean off all that old paint is going to take quite a while. Be um, probably be quite tough to do. Um, got to find the lights and wire them up, which will be challenging. But I'm going to preserve as much of the original patina, original wear, original detailing as possible, and just uh, clean it up and get it get it riding. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing this. It's 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 not on a priority list to do. Um, I guess it's the same as the rally that I showed you before. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens with it. I'm quite looking forward to it. So. Hopefully you like this little find. Um, the guy has actually got a Roche as well, which I missed out on. Um, he said he got it, and then I saw it after I got home, um, so I missed out on that. But he has sent me a picture of another one that he's got, um, a yellow Roche, and it's got a suicide lever on the front derailleur. So that might be something to look into if I decide to get to Bakewell but yep okay this is a uh, my accidental eBay purchase quite happy with it